I'm a champion, but not on the track. I think I'm a champion in life. I feel like I beat the odds. You know, the day I was born, the doctor said I would never walk. He said I would never play sports, never run. And the fact that I made it this far, running for my country, I feel like I won already. I don't care if I won any medals from this point on, but I feel like I won in life, showing that the odds was against me from the day I was born. But I beat the odds. I truly beat them. Then you know as a kid you always look up to somebody, somebody you can relate to, somebody has your similar story. Then I finally ran into Bo Jackson, finally found his story. And the fact that he had a prosthetic hip and he battled back and he was the best athlete arguably ever, you know, to do the do baseball and football, to be taken out and somebody to say you can't do it and for him to battle back to come back and play again was huge for me. There was something I could relate to. I was like, hey, even though it was a prosthetic hip, and you know I had prosthetic legs, it was something I could relate to. It was like, hey, I, I want to be like Bo. So all my jerseys, it had Bo Jackson on it. All my baseball jerseys, they called me Bo. Call me Bo. I just wanted to be just like Bo. And so my aunt and my grandmother wrote him a letter, told him about him. He was like, oh, I got to meet this kid. So they dropped me up. It was almost too good to be true. I, can, I remember like it was yesterday. We are walking around, I'm just like, I'm trying to keep my cool. I'm walking, looking for him. I was like six or seven years old. Then I remember he was in the back room. They let us go back in the family room. You know, it was me, my mom, my dad, aunt, everybody. We walk into the room, I just remember seeing Bo just sitting there. And I just, my eyes just lit up. He get up, he came up, and I was just speechless. He came and shook my hand. I was like, oh my God, this is, this is Bo Jackson. He brought me over to the table sign all my autographs and let me sit there and just talk to him. And that moment right there changed my life forever. I feel like when it comes to track and field, anything in life, your mindset is so important. Blake Leaper sees himself as a normal human being. Even though you're different, that doesn't establish who you are as a person. And then you always have to realize that we all face challenges. But it's all how you overcome those challenges. If Statistically, there was like 17 and a half students coming from this certain type of area. And they always used to make a joke that Blake must be the half student. <laughs> actually, it's actually pretty funny. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm different. I'm not afraid of that. <laughs> okay. Every time I do my workouts, my mission is to be number one in the world. With training, it's a love-hate relationship. I love it because I know it makes me better. I hate it because it hurts. That's when I put my business suit on, 9200. Repetition with a minute rest, I have to keep pushing. Or even when I'm in the weight room, deadlifts, lifting, curls, they're so important for me to get to the next level. I have to maximize those muscles to make up for the muscles that's not there. Stepping on the track and watching me run, I can prove to you, regardless of your situation, regardless of your disability, you can overcome anything. With that being said, I would just have to pass the torch on to the next child or to the next youth or to the next person who's ashamed of their disability to prove to them that be proud of who you are and show the world what you can do.